The Lockheed Hercules transport has long been used by the U.S. Coast Guard for maritime patrol as well as search and rescue missions. This amazingly versatile aircraft now is being acquired by nations worldwide in both the military C-130 and the civil L-100 versions to patrol their offshore exclusive economic zones and to satisfy their search and rescue requirements. The increasing international demand for offshore natural resources has made it essential for countries possessing coastlines to maintain surveillance over their adjacent seas. This action is vitally important to deter illegal fishing, unauthorized shipping, and pollution. In the last few years, many nations have extended their territorial limits up to 200 nautical miles out to sea. These exclusive economic zones were primarily created for the preservation of coastal fishery resources, but often include other resources as well. These protective zones provide for protection and security of fishing, seabed mining activities, scientific investigations, and offshore oil and natural gas explorations. Detection and control of pollution have also become primary objectives. Surveillance of these exclusive economic zones requires a long-range aircraft which can patrol vast surface areas quickly and frequently. Search and rescue operations within these areas and on adjoining open seas requires a capability to locate, sustain, and rescue survivors in the shortest possible time. The maritime patrol configuration of the Lockheed Hercules provides such capability. Its long-range, long-endurance, broad-altitude coverage and low-speed handling characteristics in adverse weather conditions are ideally suited for maritime patrol and search and rescue missions. Additionally, its large air-conditioned and pressurized cargo compartment easily accommodates maritime patrol equipment. In policing the 200-mile exclusive economic zone of the United States, the U.S. Coast Guard uses its fleet of 25 C-130 Hercules aircraft to enforce fishing laws and treaties, protect the marine environment, and conduct many kinds of humanitarian missions often involving search and rescue activities. Usually the seeing and being seen aspect of the patrol aircraft furnishes a good deterrent against statutory and treaty violations. On fishing conservation missions, fishing vessels are identified, photographed, and their latitude and longitude recorded. In the event of a suspected violation, the aircraft notifies the nearest Coast Guard surface vessel and remains on station until the fishing boat is boarded and inspected. In protecting the marine environment, the Coast Guard provides surveillance over port and offshore areas to detect oil contamination from drilling operations, tanker spillage, illegal bilge flushing or from port petroleum facilities. Early contamination detection provided by the Hercules allows cleanup procedures to start at the earliest possible time, thus minimizing spread and damage. For search and rescue operations, the Coast Guard C-130s provide exceptional long range and time on station capabilities. After locating survivors and dropping rescue kits, the Hercules crew relays the precise location of the survivors as determined from onboard navigation equipment to shore and nearby ships. The Hercules stays in the area until other assistance arrives. The U.S. Coast Guard Hercules provide international iceberg patrol and monitoring to ensure safer shipping lanes. The Coast Guard also enforces America's customs and immigration laws and combat smuggling and narcotics traffic. Elsewhere, the Hercules is used extensively by several countries for the photo surveillance and mapping of specific land and sea coast areas. The Lockheed Georgia Company has worked for many years with the U.S. Coast Guard and the maritime agencies of other nations to develop the basic requirements for airborne maritime patrol, search and rescue. Since mission and equipment needs vary from country to country, Lockheed has developed a maritime aircraft which can accommodate a wide range of equipment and sensors to perform various mission functions at different levels of capability and accuracy. 
an almost unlimited variety of special mission equipment is available to satisfy individual customer needs. The Maritime Patrol Hercules currently being produced by Lockheed is in some ways more sophisticated than the Hercules operated by the U.S. Coast Guard. Powered by fuel-efficient Allison prop jet engines, the Hercules Maritime Patrol aircraft features sea search radar and advanced computerized inertial and omega navigation systems. The sea search radar provides navigation, weather detection and avoidance, and sea search target detection capability. Two primary features which improve target detection in rough seas and adverse weather are frequency agility and constant false alarm rate video processing. Two displays are provided, a high resolution indicator for the radar operator and a pilot's bright display indicator. The Hercules inertial and Omega navigation systems provide extremely accurate worldwide navigation. Additionally, steering information from the inertial system is used for automatic flying of search patterns. Optional configuration choices include observer stations with seats and viewing windows at forward and aft locations. Two observer stations are available in the aft section of the cargo compartment adjacent to the personnel doors. A scanner observation door with three large viewing windows is provided at both observer stations for use during low altitude unpressurized flight. The large window area affords excellent surface viewing at normal flight attitudes and at steep bank angles during target orbiting. The aft personnel door used for pressurized flight is raised so the observation door can be locked into place. Two observer stations and windows for pressurized flight operations are available for the forward cargo compartment area. For this configuration, a large rectangular window is permanently installed on each side of the fuselage. At each observer station, comfortable crew-type swivel seats are provided with height adjustment provisions and track mounting to permit the observer to position himself at the proper viewing angle. System interfaces for a camera with data annotation equipment are provided at the forward and aft observer stations. Photographic documentation of violations within a country's protected zones and of search and rescue operations can be obtained from a variety of cameras, lenses, and installations. Data from the aircraft's navigation system prints latitude, longitude, date, and time on each film frame. Several pieces of equipment normally required for patrol or search and rescue operations have been conveniently assembled on a pallet which can be installed on the Hercules loading ramp. The pallet can be removed quickly if the aircraft is to be used in the cargo configuration. A loudspeaker system is installed on the left outboard side of the ramp pallet and is activated with the ramp down and the aft cargo door closed. The loudspeaker horn is designed to project a clearly understood message above aircraft noise to surface targets on the left side of the orbiting aircraft. Two tubes for launching flares or markers are installed on the right side of the pallet. The flares are loaded manually and can be launched singly or together when the crew releases the launcher hydraulic actuators. An alternate multi-tube system which permits launchings of flares and markers with the ramp and aft cargo door closed can be incorporated into the aft cargo door. Up to 10 launch tubes can be installed depending on the customer requirements. On the left aft end of the ramp pallet, airdrop bins accommodate both land and sea rescue kits. The rescue kits are dropped with the ramp down and the aft cargo door open. They are deployed by an extraction chute in the conventional manner using the standard Hercules extraction chute release mechanism. An aft observer station is also located on the ramp equipment pallet between the flare launchers and the rescue kit bins. This station, with its viewing window and track-mounted observer seat, allows the surface to be scanned from an angle not covered by other observers. So survivors will have time to react to the noise of the aircraft passing overhead, increasing their chances of being seen by the Hercules crew.
To provide for crew needs during extended patrol and search missions, a slide-in crew rest module may be installed quickly in the spacious Hercules cargo area. A typical configuration includes a complete aircraft-type galley, which provides cooking and storage facilities for food and beverages. Two aircraft-type laboratories are also contained in the module. The crew can relax in the lounge, where ample seating and table facilities are provided, along with a sofa that converts into a bunk. Four additional bunks are located in the aft end of the module. The crew rest module also contains its own independent and portable emergency oxygen system. Advanced surveillance systems such as infrared scanners, side-looking radar, and low-light level television typify the almost unlimited variety of special mission electronics that are available. Infrared scanners and side-looking radars significantly enhance oil pollution detection providing a capability for identifying oil slicks as small as several hundred square feet. For improving night search for boats and ships, low light level television cameras may be installed. The range and time on station capabilities of the Maritime Patrol Hercules are outstanding. Flying at 5,000 feet or 1,524 meters patrol altitude, a typically equipped Hercules has a mission range of more than 2,500 nautical miles. An unusual advantage of the Maritime Hercules is that for search and rescue missions, it can use four engine speed to get to a search area and then cut back to two engines to gain additional on-duty loiter time. For such missions, it can provide two and one-half hours of search time at a mission radius of 1,800 nautical miles. Increased search time results with a reduced mission radius. For example, more than 16 hours of search time are available at 200 nautical miles. For any maritime patrol aircraft, corrosion protection is essential. At Lockheed, Georgia, it's a top priority. Every Hercules is protected for the marine environment, from nose to tail and wingtip to wingtip. Fasteners and exterior joints are sealed with a Lockheed Georgia developed corrosion inhibiting sealant, a sealant so highly regarded that it is used by most other aircraft manufacturers throughout the world. Skin surfaces, wing trailing and leading edges, in fact all critical areas of the Hercules are treated to make it the aircraft best suited to the marine environment. No matter where a C-130 or L-100 Maritime Patrol Hercules performs its tasks, its operators can count on the complete services of the worldwide Lockheed product support team. A modern rapid response spares provisioning program. Comprehensive maintenance and flight crew training and expert technical assistance are among the wide variety of support services available. Since all of the maritime patrol equipment in the cargo compartment can be removed easily, conversion to other mission configurations is quick and simple. For example, helicopters used in search and rescue work can be refueled by Hercules aircraft. When not performing patrol and surveillance or search and rescue missions, the Hercules maritime aircraft can be put to work transporting equipment and personnel or airlifting heavy earth moving and road grading equipment. Additionally, personnel and their equipment can be airdropped from the C-130. In still other tasks, the Hercules can provide quick medical assistance and evacuation, perform weather reconnaissance, or take on a host of other national security, economic development and civic action roles. The multi-mission capability of the Hercules continues to be dramatically documented by over 50 nations of the world that use this aircraft routinely for a wide variety of tasks. And the Maritime Patrol version adds yet another role, Guardian of the Sea, 
to this legendary list of applications for the Lockheed Hercules. The world's most versatile airlifter.